Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, and today we're going to go back up there and try to take down Clayton. I did look up the name of what that chameleon was called, that chameleon Heartless, and its name is... Uh, Stealth Sneak. Yeah, that's right. How the fuck did I get a K out of that? I don't even know. I just... It beats me. Alright, so let's go ahead and head back up there real quick and go fucking put up with his bullshit. Somebody said... Because I was trying to look up the name of it, I, like, I, I typed in Clayton Boss, and of course it gave you like a little walkthrough of what it was called, or people, it, get, it took me to Game Facts or whatever, or some website, and somebody was like, what, what do you, what do you say? Oh, fuck. Now I don't even remember what it was, what he was saying either. Shit. Well, I did read somewhere that somebody said that you have to beat the living hell out of, uh, you have to beat Stealth Snake down first, and then you can go ahead and just will on Clayton. It's like, for the most part, like, Clayton's just gonna be there, just be annoying. So that's what they're saying. So, the thing is, like, I don't want to beat up Stealth Sneak, and then, like, what if he doesn't die? Like, what if he can't be killed? I don't want to be wailing on the same fucking boss through the entire game. Or, not through the entire game, but, like, through the entire fight, just to have freaking... I don't want to, you like, use... It's basically like beating a dead animal with a, dead, with a fucking blunt stick. Like, there's really no point of doing it. So, why even bother, you know? From what I remember, I remember taking out Clayton first. And then I think that probably could end the thing. Or you might actually know, I think... I think it doesn't really matter. I think you can take out either one. And there you go. Again, I've said this before. I am not a professional at this game. I am in no way, shape, or form ever going to be a professional at this game. Oh, thank fucking God. I Somebody actually fucking healed me. Actually, Tarzan healed me. Yeah, hell, actually, I think Tarzan was the one that actually healed me that time. Shit. Thank God, at least somebody fucking knows how to do it around here in this fucking game, apparently. So, yeah, just go ahead and worry about Stealth Snake himself. Don't worry about Clayton. Uh, just keep using Dodge Roll if you want to get past all these attacks. Clearly, you have to have it equipped. No surprise there. What I also could do is I could probably use uh, Thunder on him. Because Donald was using Thunder earlier, so for the most part, that should help. Thank you, Tarzan. Thank God for that. Did I dislike that attack? See, I'm gonna try to beat the living shit out of this guy first instead. That fucking attack does a lot of damage, though. This is ridiculous. It does a ridiculous amount of damage. I'm trying to get as many hits on him as I can. I'm trying to get my boys back up here. The thing is, I have, like, what, two Mega Potions on? So if, like, we all go down or whatever. Ow, you fucking asshole! Alright. Just gonna wait for him to unleash. Not gonna worry about Clayton, because Clayton's just gonna be in the background for the most part. Yeah, he's gonna use that fucking gunshot shit on me, but... Eh, what's it really matter, right? Come on, guys, get in there and just beat the living hell out of it. Thing is, Tarzan has the ability to give us, like, arrow, which is spelled A-E-R-O. And what that does is that allows... Oh, so we beat down Stealth Snake. Awesome. Now, I could have sworn that he came back to life, though. Like, I think you can beat him, like, multiple times, and there you go. So let's just go ahead and will on fucking Clayton while I had the chance, I guess. Thing is, Clayton will utilize his abilities to jump. Oh, you. Oh, we stopped him from healing, though. That's good. Let's just beat. Oh, and we got a Mega Potion out of that. How the fuck did we get a Mega Potion out of that? I don't even know myself. So basically, what Arrow does is it's a magic ability that we get later. It's an air ability. And it basically gives you a small shield that also can, I think, attack enemies while it's around you as well. So let's beat the living fuck out of Clayton for this. You fucking will die! Thank God! And we got scan, ladies and gentlemen! We got fucking scan! Fuck yeah!
Tarzan home. Okay, so now we are going to go back to Tarzan's home, apparently. Let's go ahead and right, head right in there. Let's go to the waterfall cavern real quick. We're almost done with this world. We're not actually just done yet. Uh, let's see here. There's actually a few chests you need to be wary of when you go through here. First one's going to be on the very bottom over this way. That's going to be a mythal shard, so go ahead and pick that up. Try to obtain as many of the mythal shard stuff as you can while you have the chance, because grinding for that stuff later on might be kind of a pain in the ass, and I just don't want to have to put up with that. So the next one is going to be, next chest is going to be right here. Some more Dalmatians, that's good. Alrighty. Head this way and grab this. Got another mithril. Thing is, when it comes to like, um, 100 in this game, I don't think you need to get every single chest. There are people, regardless, that will tell you, you know, that you need every chest, that you need, uh, well, of course, all the keyboards, you know, stuff like that. Simple stuff that actually is acquired by, like, you know, if you get a, if you get trophies or whatever for it. I That's why I count as 100%. If I could actually fucking see down below what I want to see, damn it. Uh, yeah, I think that just takes me back down to the bottom. Which we don't need to go back down to the bottom just yet, so. Luckily for us, Sora has just enough height to actually jump on these ledges. So we don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, good thing about this area, though, they give you a lot of areas to, like, climb up to. They give you a lot of different paths to take. So let's go ahead and head to the next area. See, that was question marks. That's what I was talking about earlier. Yeah, the previous video. This is your home? But that means... Huh? Ooh. Oh. The waterfalls. They're echoing all the way here. <laughs> friends there. See friends. Oh, now I've got it. Ha <laughs> means heart. Friends in our hearts. Heart. Oh, so that's what it meant. Friends, same heart. Clayton, lose heart. No heart, no see friends. No heart, no friends. Sorry about what I said. I'm trying to go. Uh, yeah, all for one, huh? But it's sure not the king's. I think someone has a new admirer. No, 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 no! Did you even kill me? What drew the Heartless to that world? The Hunter lured them there. It was his lust for power that was the bait. But it seems the bait was too tasty for his own good. <laughs> yeah, he got chopped instead. Hmm. A weak-hearted fool like him stood no chance against the Heartless. But the boy is a problem. He found one of the keyholes. Fear not. It will take him ages to find the leaf. Besides, he remains blissfully unaware of our other plan. Yes, the princesses. 
They are falling into our hands, one by one. Speaking of which... Alrighty, here we go. The gummy block that came out of that glowing hole. It's not like the others. Wonder what it's used for. Alright, Donald, what do you guys say? I don't know. That's it? Really? Maybe Leon will know. Hmm, he might. Back to Traverse Town then, huh? I want to be pilot. Hey, stop it. Oh, come on. I'm the Keyblade Master. I don't care who you are. No. Uh, what do you guys say to Goofy? Here we go again. Come on, let's go. So basically, we're going to head right back into Traverse Town real quick. Hopefully, there's no other cutscene, because if there was... I could easily just cut that stuff out, and we can also, of course, head right back to, uh, we're gonna have to head back to Olympus Coliseum or Wonderland. So instead, what we're gonna do, since I didn't actually beat the Coliseum down completely just yet, we're gonna go ahead and head our fat asses right back to Olympus Coliseum. I'm gonna try my hands at taking down Cerberus one more time. If I can't take down Cerberus, we're gonna head back to Traverse Town and see what Leon has to say about, uh, this next gummy block. Which it should be, I think, Navi G or whatever. Also! We got a few new things. We have a new Keyblade. We also have the ability to unlock red Trinities. That was actually one of the Trinities I wasn't thinking of. I thought it was green that was next. Nope, red's next. There's also a red Trinity in the back alley uh, where we actually first came to Traverse Town. So if you want to go get that one real quick, then you can. I'm actually just going to go ahead and head back to Olympus Coliseum real fast and get all that stuff taken care of. I'm not going to head back to like other worlds until I get all the abilities of the Trinity marks. That way we just get them all done in one go. So pretty much for the most part, like whatever trendy marks I have available at that time that I could actually access. And you know, I'm just gonna go to like, th I'm just gonna go through every world and just try to beat it. And then like, if there's any stuff I'm missing, I'll just come back and do it later. So for the most part, this Let's Play is just kind of like a small little journey of like how I play Kingdom Hearts for the most part. That's pretty much what it is. This is not, this is a non-professional way of just like beating Kingdom Hearts. This is just, you guys are, well, you folks out there are probably more likely here just to hear me, like, blab on, just see what I do. Which, it may or may not be different from what you folks do out there. And a different take and a different view on different ways of playing games is always kind of a nice thing to check out. Depending on, like, who you're watching, I guess. If you're watching somebody who's actually complete utter shit at video games, then it can probably be kind of funny watching them, like, completely fail. But, of course, watching me fail is not very fun, now is it? Because I... I personally don't like failing. I... I guess it's just because, like, I... I don't know. I, I, I'm i gonna fucking stick too far up my ass, apparently. Like, I just want everything to be done 100% perfectly. You know, I'm too much of a perfectionist. I'm too much of a perfectionist when it comes to these games. Well, games that I generally like. Like, I want to be able to beat Kingdom Hearts. I would like to beat Kingdom Hearts 100%, but I don't know how... I do not know how to 100% it. I'm sure you probably have to get all the Keyblades. I'm sure you have to beat all the Super Bosses. If that's all I need to do, then, well, we can try to do that. And don't worry, I'm going to be taking down... I'm going to try to take down all the bosses. It's probably going to end by Bloodborne, where I'm going to, like, fucking fail on one of them. So I guess we finished a mission, apparently, which I didn't know that we finished a mission. I... That's another thing, too. Like, you have to deal with, like, gummy ship stuff as well. And If I have to do that stuff, then maybe I will. So I guess when it comes down to, like, Jiminy's Journal, I think that's probably what all we have to do is just finish Jiminy's Journal for the most part. Actually, before we do anything stupid, do we even... No, no, that's right. We got the Patera Chain from, like, a drop. I keep forgetting that. Uh, Scan only cost one AP, which is nice. So we're going to put on Scan real quick. Donald learned MP Haste, which MP Haste is good, by the way. Boost MP recovery rate in battle, allowing more spellcasting. All right, and Goofy has Charge and Treasure Magnet. And charge is charge and knock out an enemy with a shield. And of course, well... I'll give him treasure magnet, that, because I don't have it on right now, so I'll just give it to the... I'll just give it to Goofy. 
That way we just have it. Oh wait, there's a green one. Oh, no wait, we need red, that's right. Another thing we need to do, we need to change up our key. Also, we have cure. That's right, I forgot about that. We have fucking cure. So this is the jungle key. It has a long reach, but seldom, but seldom it deals critical blows. It's got plus two strength. And for the most part, I think that's about it. Just plus two. Plus two strength, and it has a nice little long reach. This is what it looks like. And we'll get to see it in action in just a few minutes. Come to think of it, for some reason, I remember... I faintly remember myself actually beating Deep Jungle before I went to Olympus Coliseum, before I beat uh, Cerberus. Which is kind of odd. Like I think I'm going in the exact same order as I would normally. Customize mini real quick. I'm going to go there, and... I like Thunder, and I like Blizzard, and I like Fire, but for the most part, what do I really need on? Like, seriously, like, I don't think I really need... I don't really think I need Fire or anything. I'll just switch out for Cure. So, L1 and Triangle will be Cure. Now, let's go and try and save Hercules real quick. We're probably gonna die by Cerberus, but hey, just think, folks. I have Cure. I also have Scan. And I also have fucking the Jungle Key. So guess what that means? Sometimes I can do critical blows, and sometimes I can't. But that doesn't really matter, because guess what? I got fucking cure. That's why I wanted to go to Deep Jungle for first, was fucking do cure. How the hell did I tech that? I don't even know. So hopefully, now that I have cure, hopefully everything's gonna come back floating, or er, everything's gonna come back into place just fine and dandy. I'm gonna try not to waste my magic. After all, I don't really have a whole lot of stuff. I have mega potions, I think that's about it. I don't have any ethers. So I'm gonna have to utilize my own abilities. Alright. So he's got... Cerberus has some weird, like, attacks, pretty much. There, there's a way, like, you can not really bait out his attacks. Like, obviously I'm not baiting out any of his attacks. What I'm actually doing instead is I'm just utilizing my his attack pattern against him. Oh, also, since we have our strength up, I'm also a little bit stronger than I was before. This attack right here is just a simple, like, easy to dodge attack. And thing is, this game came out before God of War. And Dante's Inferno came out actually before God of War, uh, before it came out before God of War 3. Like, no, wait, no, I think, no, I think it came after God of War 3, yeah, yeah, I, no, wait, was it February 2010 or 2011? Because I know God of War 3 was like March 20, or 2010. I, I could have sworn, I'm pretty sure, that Dante's Inferno came out before God of War 3. I think so. Quote me on that, if, or don't quote me on that, but tell me if I'm wrong, because if you guys want to, it's up to you, of course. I'm trying to get people like, comment on my videos and stuff, because like, don't be afraid to comment, and also, I just want to make mention of something, too. I get a lot of comments asking me to like play games with people and stuff like that. Now, the reason why I don't do it very often, or why I don't do it now, is because I just don't feel like I have enough subs to like start doing like any live streams with fans or whatever, or like viewers. It just would seem weird having like two people at one, or like in one fucking stream. That's about it. You know what I mean? Thus, I do hereby dub thee junior heroes and confer upon thee full rights and privileges to participate in the games. Further... How do you mean junior heroes? You rookies still don't understand what it takes to be a true hero. So, what does it take? Well, that's just something you'll have to find out for yourselves. Just the way that I did. No problem. We'll start by proving ourselves in the games. There ain't gonna be any games for a while. Gotta clean up the mess from that last battle first. Okay, we'll be back. I still can't believe that Squirt actually beat Cerberus. Just between us, I'd already worn Cerberus down by the time the little guy jumped in. My lips are sealed. Alright, so now we have ourselves some new items. We actually have ourselves some new equipment as well. 
I'm gonna go check that out real quick. What does it give me? Infernal Band gives me better defense, but it lowers my strength and my AP. Which is something I do not want to have. This one actually will not lower my AP, but lower my strength. So I, I said switch it out for that. If I switch out Brave Warrior for Infernal Band, my defense will go up, but my strength will go down by one. I'll take that, I guess. As long as it does not affect my AP, I should be fine. We'll give Goofy a Brave Warrior. And let's see here. Ability-wise, Goofy... Do, 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 do. Uh, everything should be good. Let's go talk to Cloud real quick. Let's, let's go see what he's got to say. It might be text-based, if anything, I'm sure. Hey, are you alright? Yeah. So, why did you go along with him anyway? I'm looking for someone. Hades promised to help. I tried to exploit the power of darkness. But it backfired. I fell into darkness, and I couldn't find the light. You'll find it. I'm searching too. For your light? Don't lose sight of it. How about a rematch sometime? Fair and square, no dark powers involved. I think I'll pass. Okay, so now we have learned the ability called Sonic Blade, which might be the ability I was wanting this entire time. Well, another ability that I would want. I have to go make sure real quick, see what it actually does give me. Sonic Blade, slash enemy while running past. Select follow up, select follow up attack at right time for a combo. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's the one I was talking about or not. Anyway, we gotta head back to Traverse Town real quick. And we're off. So, we have some new stuff. Oh, shit. He's strong. He's kind. He's always there for you. And he's handsome to boot. He's perfect. Perfect. Perfectly infuriating. He makes me crazy. <sighs> Wait a minute, what are you worried about? All the pieces are in place. Relax. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here's what you do. Let Hercules train the kid. In the next games, I'll take care of them both. Who invited you to the party? Stay out of this. This is my show. As you wish. Fight to your heart's content. Okay, so let's head back to Traverse Town real quick. I want to make mention of something. Isn't technically Hades, or isn't Hades technically Hercules' uncle? So why is he so damn hellbent on getting him killed off? I don't, I don't even remember. Again, I've seen these movies a long time ago. The one movie I don't think I've ever seen was actually uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. I don't remember ever watching that movie. I know what it is. I just don't think I've ever seen it. Off the top of my head, I don't remember it, of course. And I, I used to watch The Lion King a lot back when I was a kid as well. Alright, so let's take care of this. Real quick. Oh, yeah, but I was going to go back on topic about what I was talking about earlier about uh, playing, like, streaming with people and stuff like that. Like, there will come a day where I actually want to do it. It actually will be a really good idea to do. But at this moment in time, I just don't feel like I have enough of an audience who would actually be willing to do all that stuff with me. Now, I have a few people that would love to, and you know... No offense to you guys out there that are watching or anything like that. It's it's not you guys. It's just like, I don't... I'm not really good when it comes to, like, talking or socializing to, like, new people and meeting new people and stuff like that. I, I'm pretty... I'm pretty weird. That's the thing. Like, I'm pretty awkward, I guess, apparently. Like, I can do it. It's just... I feel like people will find me too awkward to talk to or something. Like, they would be like, oh, okay, so this guy actually is a kind of a fucking asshole. But the other thing that kind of helps out, too, is, like, they know me from YouTube... So they, they see, you know, you people see me on YouTube all the time. And, you know, this what you see is pretty much what you get for the most part. Like, I'm just a blabbing ramp. I'm just a rambling idiot. That's all I ever do. I just say the same shit I say here. Well, I just don't say it this quick. Because <laughs> when it comes to, like, recording YouTube videos, I feel like I have to 
it, it, it's a habit of mine. Like, I have this computer that blows... Like, it vents in the background all damn day. Like, the fan just goes off crazy all the time. So that's why I talk constantly, so I can actually... Basically... Cover it up, for the most part. It's just a way of me, like, getting rid of it. It's it, it was an old habit from my old mic, because my mic... My old mic used to fucking pick that stuff up all the time. And, uh... Now it's just basically a habit. Like, it's still there. Like, this microphone I have right now, my Blue Yeti, it... Or, not my... What? No. <laughs> my Yeti... It doesn't really pick up stuff a lot, but it still picks it up, and I just want to, like, constantly talk, especially over loading times and stuff like that, because... When I watch my videos on playback, I think it kind of... It bugs me, because I think, like, it bugs you guys out there, so... That's what it does. I know... I'm sure it probably doesn't really bug anybody, but... To me, it bugs. It bugs me. That's the thing. That's the important part of it. Well, it's not like that important. It's just my own dumbass. It's just my own dumbass being worried about something that doesn't really need to be worried about in the first place. So up first, we got Donald, Sora, and the Goofy comes in for the backlash. This actually takes us back to the area bef well, near the caves, actually. But it's like right behind these blocks. So we got number four, five, and six for Dalmatians. That seems like a good little deal for me. Now, I'm going to end up this episode here. For anybody who wants to go ahead and continue on watching the original Let's Play as it is, then I will see you folks in the next episode. For all of you out there who want to go ahead and stay and watch me do some more journal stuff, well, let's get some journal reading stuff done. Before I do that, actually, let's go back and talk to Sid real quick. Hopefully a cutscene doesn't play, because that would suck for anybody who wants to fucking watch that stuff. Wait, there's a Moogle. What's I gotta say? A big tournament is being held somewhere, Kupo. Ah, fuck you. Anyway, let's go to the journal real quick and read all about it. So we got some new chronicles. We got Olympus Coliseum. Sora, Donald, and Goofy fought brilliantly to advance to the finals. Their opponent was Cloud, who was hired by Hades to get rid of Sora and company when Hades unleashed Cerberus during the match. Hercules entered the arena and took him on single-handedly. In the end, Sora and his friends helped Hercules defeat Cerberus. Phil was impressed by their feat and dubbed Sora, Donald, and Goofy Jr. heroes. Fight in other tournaments, continue your journey to become a true hero. Deep Jungle. Sora and his friends sought to reach the gorilla's nesting grounds, but Clayton, possessed by the Heartless, stood in their way. He abducted Jane and hunted down the gorillas. In their final showdown, Sora and company defeated Clayton and an invisible monster named Stealth Sneak. Sora finally gained Kerchak's trust and was allowed to go to the nesting grounds. Tarzan led everyone to a cavern with a mysterious keyhole. When Sora sealed it with a keyblade, he found an unusual gummy block. Although Sora and the others couldn't find their friends, a new gummy block should help them get to another world. Sora, Donald, and Goofy said goodbye to Tarzan and the others, con others and continued with their journey. Is that it? Yeah, I think that was it. Alright. So that's it for the Chronicles. We got some new characters to read about. We got Cerberus, who is a guardian of the entrance to the underworld and Hades' loyal servant. Herc defeated him once, but Hades has brought him back to fight Sora and his friends. And Clayton. A veteran hunter, Jane's guide on her expedition to the jungle. He thinks that animals only have prey. Wait, we read this before, didn't we? Yeah, I think we did. I think we read about him before. Alright. So, next up we have... Stealth Sneak. Who's a boss? A heartless that attuned to the darkness in Clayton's heart has somehow manipulated the light to turn invisible and fight alongside Clayton. That's it! Alright, so Dalmatian wise, we have 21 out of 99. Trinities, we have 8 out of 17 of the Trinity Jump. And Trinity Charge, is what the red one's called, is 1 out of 6. Yeah, there's really not that many. Uh, equipment wise, I want to go ahead and change my equipment. I don't think I have anything else I can change it up for. These guys don't have anything I can change up, so really it's kind of pointless. I think that green thing right there, that green number, it's probably like the amount of strength that it gets from it. I think so. Uh, we can't equip any of this stuff because I have nothing I can do with it. Uh, actually, my item menu. I want to go ahead and see something real quick. I don't have any fucking upgradable abilities, do I? Damn it, motherfucker. All right. So we got mega potions out the ass. Let's go ahead and exchange those for something else. Let's do actually mega ethers instead. Just one mega ether, and then I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And we're gonna end up the episode there. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time when we play some more Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. And we're going to go to Leon to go talk to him real quick and see what he's got to say about this next, this next gummy block piece. As always, folks, take care, everybody.